Regan, what's up for your Fueling Your Passion webisode this season with 509? I've been talking with Pat at Mountain Sledder and he came up with a really cool concept that we could maybe feature a little bit of snow bike versus sled action. Pat, explain it to Regan what you were thinking. Let's hear yeah. it. Hey, and you know, you've been a big part of Mountain Sledder for a while. You've been on the cover, you've been in the gallery probably almost every issue. And uh, But we're Mountain Sledder magazine, we're not Mountain Snow Bike magazine. So I want to put it out there to you. And, and when I heard from Mike that you guys were going out, uh, try and get us some banger footage that we can use, some shots from the magazine. And uh, you know, if you guys can bring along somebody on a sled too and work off each other, inspire each other and see what you can do, that'd be great. Regan, it just so happens I was talking with Turcotte the other day and he is available for a few days of filming if you want to bring him. Oh, that sounds like a, a recipe for a good time. Uh, yeah, he's got the skills to pay the bills, that guy. So whenever we get together, it seems like we, uh, we push each other to do cool things. So let's get on the blower with Turcotte. Let's get them lined up. And uh, I heard a little thing from Timber Sled that there might be a chance I could get a Riot 3 coming this direction. So I'm going to get get on it with them and make sure that gets coming ASAP. And let's nice. do it. Well, let me give you a little inspiration for that, you guys. Whoever uh, can get the best shot out of it, we'll promise you a spot in the gallery. And uh, let me just say that the cover is not uh, set in stone by any means yet. So anything can happen, boys. Let's get out there and get some good stuff. It's always a little unnerving when you're hanging around Turcotte and that's half the reason why I invited him too is uh, you know I like like being pushed I like a challenge and Turcotte is one of those guys he's always you know got his his eye on on something extreme he's got the ability this truck loves getting off the pavement we're lucky actually we got some nice frozen roads this morning you just never know what you're gonna get dealt late in March so I uh, just got a little business I got to take care of. Or bring the lunch with me, so. Come on, Regan, you call that fish in there? You got a couple car. levels broken off the rod, but she still seems to catch fish. Do you think he's actually going to catch anything? No, he just likes running through the bush with things in his hands. He's going to trip, for sure. Hurt himself. Yeah, we're going to be able to snow bike. Trip. He couldn't even catch a buzz on that one. <laughs> I'm going for the cover. Of what, not catching a fish? <laughs> fishing. It's not about catching, Brock. Well, yeah, he just knows nothing catching. about fish. Okay, let's go in the snow, guys. All right, bye. Fishing's done. Yeah, half the adventure in the springtime like this is to drive up. You, you really do never know what you're gonna get. You got uh, inconsistent snow patches sometimes. You get uh, erosion and rocks falling down and some mudslides, mud bogs. So definitely pays to be a little bit prepared. We're really in an adventure situation now. <laughs> Hoyer just ditched it. We were just talking about how gnarly the roads could get. Here's Brock on right, the graded road. Right into the ditch. <laughs> oh. That was so quick. Yeah. I was like playing that Carrie Underwood song, Jesus Take the Wheel. I just let go and it just ran into the ditch. Jay, you've been up here before I take it. <laughs> I have. I've seen Brock drive. It looks like he just drove right into the ditch to me. You think that little truck of yours is ready to pull him out here, Brett? Oh yeah. You can't be a trucker unless you have chains. Mountain man, ready for any adventure yeah. here. We're gonna time you. 
long. Who's gonna win here? <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> no, uh, not me. I think the instruction manual's in the bottom of that bag all, all rusted out. You gotta find it, Turkey! Guy can flip his sled, you can't flip a set of chains. Hmm? <laughs> he got him all twisted up. No. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at this. There you go. We're golden pony boy. <laughs> Except I got the I got the inside. <laughs> <laughs> we doing, bruh? We'll shorten you up here, you're too long. Never heard that before. Double chain, double dip, and she'll rip. It's all an adventure, it don't matter to me. We're going up there. See the snow line? Yeah, we're just below it. <laughs> How many times have we busted through snow and then towed trucks out of the snow and then busted up another 10 feet? For no reason. An hour just to ride half a kilometer less of dirt. You want my ski pole strap? What are you gonna tug on that, Brad? <laughs> well, this works every time. Yes, it should. You should give us the whole pole. Man, I love this strap. Mountain Lab strap. Okay, get in there. We're ready. <laughs> Someone else can hold on this one if they want. <laughs> Four low, man, four low. Regan's pretty nervous driving up here. The, Was he? You on a sled versus him on a bike. It's a tall task, I think. Well, have you ever seen him ride a snow bike, dude? That guy's a savage. I'm stoked to, we got a little friendly competition going though. That'll be fun, hey? What's your buddy doing back there? Oh, I, I hear that he lost all the links in his chain. So, it's not like your buddy where you lost a chain and you would clear up there. Oh. Nice. <laughs> the deadly North American snow snake. Be careful with it. So Mountain Sledder asks, like, what's better? Is it snow biking or sledding? Uh, how do you feel so far, Brett? How's your sled running? Great, my chain's still in one piece. <laughs> There's all kinds of time. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you follow your buddy Rig. You're just fifth to the bar. Oh, master I links mean, in here. Ooh, this is like riding with Turk screen. with uh, Ooh, Rocky Turcot back in the go. '90s. Here, the amount of tools he brings, Brett. Yeah. Well, it's a mod. <laughs> it's a See? mod. Just gold right there. Okay, you got one of them. I got a couple. Holy, oh, Brett! Just for you. X Games. All your accomplishments. Let's well, see, turn around, let's see. Does that make oh. you nervous to try and keep up with him on a sled today? All those accomplishments on there? I got a tall, tall order ahead of me, I know that. <laughs> I got a tall order ahead of me. It's been the story of my life on the snow bike though, so it is what it is. You've been the underdog the whole time. It is what it is, everybody likes an underdog. He's got a new kit of goggles, but you got a new kit of... Timber. New timber kit. Whole new track and everything. Yeah, you got feel, new feel snow
super thumb my way on this I keep it super thumb It's already started here, Brett. You already went farther than him. He just had to, eh? <laughs> had I would have known, I would have grabbed second. <laughs> Straps of blue faces, not the pills Heard you calling loves, I show and pray it is for real Son of God, not a son of Sam Keep it off the box Snow wiped my foot right off on the lip as I was leaned in, so That's what happens, kids Yeah, I was getting ready to throw him a scorecard I thought, like, he's like, oh Double knack should beat, like, a seat grab for sure, you know But then he's like, no, no, that was unintentional I wasn't gonna count it anyways because he didn't land it. Call my phone, hit my line. Only ones who down for real down. What do you think a sled's gonna do off this one? How do you think Brett's gonna fare up? I think he'll get under it and get get under in there a little ways. It's a nice spot to start off, no? First jump with the sledder here, we've already got the shovel out. I, I think that's chalk one up for the snow bikers here. I gotta steal their line see if I can't go farther. There's no, there's no replacement for displacement. Do you hear that, Regan? He's got twice the motor you do. You should have to go twice as far. You think this will give you one up on the snow bike? I think that this might be a move that the snow bike won't be able to replicate. Oh, cool jump.
I'd say you did about as good as a sled could do on that uh, feature there, Brett. Yeah, I think so too. Like, and I'm rocking like half a sled right now too. 146. He just brought the little guy. Got some room on the old you guys are about tied this is really going to be the tiebreaker who can ride the opposite <laughs> motorized vehicle better is it Brett on the bike or Regan on the sled We've got this little pillow here Imagine this. okay who's gonna go first Brett the bike's already running Brett's up Brett's up Bike more often. <laughs> that's that's gonna be hard for Regan to top. So awesome. Are you yeah, nervous now, like Regan? That. Now you got Annie up here. Oh, you, let's go play with this. You got thing. this snow pony here. Thing there, yeah. Pull on a hole. Pull, pull that, that out like a lawnmower. That there you go. He's a natural. Oh yeah, he's having a time. This will be the interesting part right here. Okay, here it comes. Anyone could ride a bike, Turcotte. That's See? too easy. Yeah. Anyone could ride a bike. It's just like riding a bike. <laughs> you just get on it and go. You probably learned to do that when you were five. That's no fair. <laughs> yeah, <Come man>. on. <laughs> it looked like half the fun. So much easier on the bike. So much easier. Certain things, it's amazing, huh? Yeah. It's something you wouldn't do on the snowmobile of choice necessarily, but on the bike, it's. I had to like work my ass off to get there. On well, I was surprised. I I was full squash to try to get your line to there, and it was yeah. like full on work on that thing. So. All right, so cap off to day one, pretty successful, I'd say. Uh, Brett, what do you think? Did you represent the snowmobilers well enough? Hopefully, I mean, I did a seat grab, I did like a yeah. quarter pipe re-entry, like a proper one, like didn't panel out, and um, yeah. did some decent stuff. Yeah, some fun stuff in there, man. But at the end of the day, so I think the bikes took it. I mean, you hopped on the bike That's and we're doing some pretty gnarly bike. stuff. That's right. Like shot of the day. <laughs> See how much fun he had as soon as he got on the bike and me, I ended up with a pulled groin and stuck in a field. <laughs> So we're doing a full bike day on day two, and uh, yeah, if it's anything like today, it'll be another epic day. Yeah, today was the first day on my my Riot 3 kit too, and it was uh, pretty much just, it worked, it was fun. I just had to get to know it a little bit, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a hoot. All right, <laughs> let's uh, rally up. Hopefully we don't have as much drama going out. Brock, Probably keep her between, on yes, <laughs> stay, on, stay the on the road. <laughs> Here we are day two. Doesn't look like it froze last night, Regan. It definitely did not freeze at this elevation. We got a, we got a slimy road today. Oh 
Okay, well, we're down to two snow bikers because we scared the sledders away. And I'll apologize now because we're left to me and my sled to represent the entire sledding community. So I'm sorry for that now. Enter in some new stuff and we'll see what we get. Sounds exhausting for sledders. It's what snow bikes like to do. We're just gonna go up here over there, drop down off the other side, and then we we'll probably wrap around and up over to the other side. Are you guys gonna follow Cam me or I could put some clown music to it? <laughs> it actually worked! It's just like we were planning. Do you, do you think a sled could have done that? Is this pretty common for March around here, Regan? You know, a second ago we had sunshine, and now we're just soft right in with huge flakes. Look over, hey. All I know is if I rode my sled off there by accident, I'd be, oh, T-boning those things down there. Snow bike lines. Yeah. Looks like a paradise right there. It looks so awesome. I mean, isn't that everyone's dream rolling into a zone like this with just pillows and pinnacles like that? Outcroppings, there's a whole zone in the back corner there. Brock, oh, what did you pay Regan to invite you on this trip? I don't know yet, I haven't got the bill. <laughs> He'll get it after. <laughs> Jump off of this thing. Go for Jay, go for Jay. From there, down here. Okay.
So then we narrowed it between a sled and a bike day one, and then the bike one. Now we nailed it between bike and bike day two, and I don't know who won yet. We gotta review the footage, but. When I'm leaving, we're gonna go find something huge and just send it. No, like, I'm leaning towards yeah. someone. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, but. Fellas. <laughs> a solid day. Good thanks, wrap to day two. For letting me come. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. You're welcome, Brock. We appreciate it all, team. Everyone helping. Yeah, everyone. Good job, everybody. <laughs>